It's November 20th, 2017. A few days ago, Firefox 57 came out for the general public. I've been using it. I really like it, except for one thing, and that was the this blinding white background of the new tab page. That's the page you get when you press the plus symbol here. And for the last six months or so, I've been using that more than my home page. So uh, if mine looks a little different from yours, first of all, my Firefox has a dark theme. So that's why there's so much darkness at the top. And up here, I, only, I have a lot of things turned off in my new tab preferences. So you can go up here and configure this page. Now, this isn't a really easy fix. So if you're not very technical and haven't been doing this for years, it might take you about a half hour to do this procedure to turn the background to a different color. But if you're technical, it should only take about five minutes. So here's how it's done. First of all, you have to make a file with the code in it that we're going to put in a style sheet for Firefox 57. So to get the code for that file below my video, you're going to have to uh, copy that code that I put in there. Now since I'm making this video, I can't copy it from there, so I'm just getting it from a word processor file I have saved here. Okay. So, copy the code below my video by highlighting it and pr pressing Control C. Then it's in your clipboard. Okay, now we're going to make the file that will have that code in it. And when we're going to do it in Notepad, which is free on every copy of Windows. So to get into Notepad, I go down to the Windows key here and type in Notepad. It comes up here. Click on it twice. And Notepad opened in my bar down here. So I opened up Notepad. And then just press Control V to copy that code into Notepad. Now go up here to File, and we're going to do Save As. Go down to here where it says Text Documents. For the type, we're going to save it as and say All Files instead. Go up here for the file name and type in User Content. I put capital C on Content. Dot CSS. Okay, now you can tell where it's being saved by this uh, hierarchy up here, and I have mine in Documents, so I know where my Documents folder is. So you have to save this in wherever you can find this file, which is going to be called UserContent.CSS. You have to write down the name of that file. So I'm going to save that in Documents. And now we're going to get into the style sheet uh, folders of your copy of Firefox 57. So you do that by going up to the address bar, the URL box here, and type in about colon profiles. Press enter. Okay, I have two profiles. You may only have one. But if you have two, I'd use the bottom one. See where it says root directory here? Go over to open folder. It opens up this uh, directory of the folders in your Firefox. And if you don't see a folder named Chrome here, I know this is Firefox, but this folder is called Chrome. We're going to have to create that folder. I'm going to create a new folder here. And it's going to call and C H R O M E Chrome. So I've created that folder. Now I'm going to drag this box over here uh, with that thing, and I'm going to reduce my Firefox up here. And I'm going to open up the folder, which for me is called Documents. And that's going to have that file we made called user. Oh, 
was it? User content CSS. So I'm going to click that once just to highlight it and then press Control C to copy it. Now going back over here to the Chrome folder, I'm going to open that up by clicking it twice. Then I'm going to press Control V to copy that that file which contains the code. Then you're all set. Then you can close out here. I'll just click on it to show you the code inside it. See there's the code we made in that file. But then you can close out here and go back to I'm going to open up Firefox. I'm just going to reopen Firefox here. Okay so to get the thing to take effect I could just close out of Firefox and restart it or I could use this box up here to restart normally. Okay now when I go to the new tab page, I get one with the brown background. And you're done. Now this part is if you don't like the brown background and you want to try some different colors, that's very easy to do. You can do that in a minute. So you just go to your new tab page and uh, click up in the URL address box and type about colon profiles. Go to your root directory and open the folder. Over here now we're in the Chrome folder. Open up the Chrome folder. Open up the user content file. Let's see where it says background color colon and it has a hex code. You leave the number symbol in there but you can put a different code in for any color you want. Now you can look up these colors on the web. Just look up the hex code for various colors. For example, I'll put in um, a kind of olive green color, 669966. So you have to delete the digits of the other code. And for this you just go File, Save, and then Exit exit here and again you could just exit Firefox and restart it or just use this restart normally. Okay so we're back here and now when you do the new page you got this kind of green color and that's all there is to it.